So I just want to acknowledge something before we get into today's video. My brother is currently in the hospital. He's in a medically induced coma. I'm not going to explain to you guys as to what happened because I feel like that's private and whatnot, but I just want to tell you guys I'm going through a relatively hard time. I'm not really sure if he's like, you know, in a bad situation or something like that. Really don't know because he's sleeping and whatnot, but I don't know what to say, you guys, but I'm sorry if I seem like, you know, fake and smiling in the video or something like that because I'm just not having a good time today or the past two days. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for all the support on Twitter, my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, guys. I like the prayers and whatnot. It really it means a lot to me and my family. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy the Q&A. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the happiest channel on YouTube. Now, in today's video, I'm hosting a Q&A for kind of like a 30K subscriber type of thing, slash, I don't know, 35K kind of thing. But I'll be answering your questions in today's video, and uh, yeah. So I have questions from Twitter, Facebook, of course, YouTube, and uh, a few other social medias. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. So my very first question is from Flame, and he said, What is your favorite hobby other than YouTube? Well, as of right now, there's pretty much mostly tech stuff. You know, I like building stuff. I'm trying to build a PC. I'm trying to, like, you know, create my gaming room, basically, you know. Uh, gaming is, like, a really big part of my life, obviously. You know, my channel is based around gaming. And I just really love gaming and technology and stuff like that. I mean... I have a whole bunch of technology stuff, such as tablets, you know, phone, uh, the camera, the bunch of monitors and stuff, and I'm trying to build my setup in like the kind of way I've always dreamed of it. And uh, that's pretty much my hobby so far. So I hope that answered your question right there. So moving on once again, we have a question from Nate, which is actually building this by me, he says, Are you 12 years old? No, I'm not 12 years old. Uh, for some reason, someone like made like a weird like rumor that I was 12 years old or something like that, and obviously I'm not 12 years old. I freaking... I don't know. I feel like I look like 12, but obviously I'm not 12. I'm actually 19 turning 20 in March, so many guys don't know that, but I'm actually brutal to the old. Now a little side story from that. For some reason, someone told Freight Train, I'm not trying to call you out or anything like that, by the way, if you're actually watching this video. I'm not calling you out. Someone told me that, obviously. I'm not really sure as to who told Freight I was 12 years old, but Freight then spread to other people, other YouTubers, and all of a sudden I was 12 years old. But obviously I'm not 12 years old, guys. I'm sorry. I'm 19 turning 20 in March, so... 20 years old, that was a rumor, and uh, sorry about that. I Crazy Hazard says, can this be my question? I have actually ran out of questions. I've even added a question mark to make it one. Uh, sure, why not? Thanks for uh, leaving a question down below. Jim Shady says, will you ever make videos other than GTA 5 Online? And if so, what games? I would love to freaking do that. I've been trying to do that for so long, but it definitely seems like when I post a different video, like no one just watches it whatsoever. Like I'll post a Black Ops 3 or a Fallout or even like a different game like Minecraft or something like that. And people just don't watch it on my YouTube channel. I do my absolute best to bring guys GTA 5 content, but it really does get boring. And I want to post other content like Mr. Boss for the Wind. And uh, most other YouTubers that post, you know, kind of universal content. Like whether they're on Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, PC, you know, other types of games, other consoles. And a variety of stuff just like that. So yes, answer your question. I would absolutely love to post different games. So I can't really read this guy's name right now. It's like... Some kind of different language, but it says, Where are you playing the most? Can I play with you? What console slash PC you are? So I'm pretty sure he's from a different country. That's okay completely. I love you guys from different countries. So basically, answer your first question, what am I playing the most? Of course, GTA 5 Online, because, well, my channel is based around GTA 5. Uh, he says, Can I play with you sometime? Of course, you can play with me. My gamer tag will be in the description down below for you guys to actually, you know, I'm an Xbox Live. So I'm guessing he means kind of like what console I play on slash what kind of PC. So answer your question right there for your last question. As of right now, I only use a laptop. I mean, I think I have it right here. Where is it? Never mind. It is plugged into my monitor. I can't really do that right now. So as guys know, I'm building my gaming setup. It's my dream setup. But YouTube is actually is my job because I don't really have like a massive income right now. So as of right now, I've got my two desks. I got the console setup over there, the mini fridge. And I got my PC set up, but as of right now, I do not have a PC. But like in two months or so, I will have a PC. And definitely, I will make a setup here for you guys to actually check out and whatnot. I'll show you guys the specs, you know, kind of like a budget PC that's actually really good. So, definitely look forward to that, guys. And to answer your second question, I play on the Xbox One. I think I just answered that, so sorry about that. Moving on. <laughs> Arzine says over on Twitter, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I started way, way when I was young, like 12 years old. That was like, what, nine years ago? Yeah. At least nine years ago, I started YouTube. I had like a variety of different channels, whether it be like Call of Duty, like the older like games, like uh, Minecraft and stuff like that. I had a variety of different like channels and whatnot. I've been making videos for a very long time, but I never really like put my voice in there because I was afraid to like talk for some reason and uh, show my face and whatnot. For some reason, I just was like kind of afraid of that. But as of right now, I've like been on YouTube for like nine years, but this is like my main channel. 
and of course my most successful channel, and I'm pretty damn freaking proud of what we accomplished so far. So to answer your question, about nine years. Paradise over on Twitter says, dude, you're amazing, keep it up. Can I have a shout out, please? Big shout out to Paradise, go check him out down in the description down below, guys. He seems like a very cool dude. Franco over on Twitter says, Do you think you get enough support from your fans who watch your content? And yes, I completely do. I really do appreciate anything you guys do for me on a daily basis, whether it be leaving a comment down below, or just liking the video, or even just watching the video. I really do appreciate it, guys. You're the reason I keep making videos, and you guys make me smile on a daily basis. And like, if I like said or something like that, I read the YouTube comments, and I can have like an amazing day after that. So thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it whether you guys see it or not, or whether I tell you guys enough, I really do appreciate it. Now Franco also says, why do you still play GTA 5 online? Well, my channel is based around GTA 5, and like I said before, I would love to move other games like, you know, Black Ops 3 Fallout, or like the latest title or something like that. I would love to move to other games, but definitely doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon because people do not like it on my channel. Maybe I'll make a second channel, I don't really know yet, but to answer your question, Simply because people absolutely love it on my channel. A good friend of mine named Siasco says, and I apologize if I said your name wrong, but it's upside down. So, he says, how did you get so big on YouTube? Well, I don't really know. It kind of just happened overnight. I don't know. I can't really explain it to you, but it definitely takes dedication. You got to put your life into that thing. And you got to be like, you know, dedicate to your content, dedicate to your fans, read the comments, or reply to your comments. You know, see the feedback that your comments are giving you guys, you know, put it into your videos. And uh, basically just, you know, be dedicated to YouTube and it's as simple as that, guys. Now, I would definitely say making a brand for yourself is definitely a good idea. It definitely helped me out in the long run. Uh, my brand is pretty much happy power, or, you know, kind of staying happy. And a lot of people actually know me for that. So, what a lot of people don't understand is happy power actually has a lot of meaning behind it than you guys actually think. I mean, happy power is kind of like my life now because throughout high school, I got bullied, I had anxiety, and it led me to drop out of 11th grade. It was just not a good time for me. So, as of right now, my kind of life, or little model right here right now, it's simply to stay happy. You know, I want to be happy for the rest of my life. And in high school, I was just not happy. I had to get away from that all. Anxiety, get away from that crap, get bullied, you know, get away from that crap. And, you know, just kind of better myself to stay happy. And that's pretty much my motto and what, you know, people actually know me by. So to answer your question, I would definitely say dedication, building a brand for yourself, and, you know, being dedicated to YouTube. As simple as that. Speakster says, any tips on starting YouTube? I'm mainly a glitching channel. Well, I would definitely say go to the 7 Cents Forum, you know, refresh that page, refresh that page, look for the latest glitches, do not post old glitches if you want to be big on YouTube. I mean, if you're going to be a glitching channel, you have to post the latest stuff, have the friendliest commentating voice, and uh, I don't know, be the friendliest person you guys can actually be on YouTube to your fans, because no one likes a crappy commentator, and no one likes a, a like asshole person. So, try to do the best you guys can when it comes to commentating, explain stuff very well, and uh, basically as simple as that, you know, post the best glitches, explain stuff well, and definitely have a great time while actually, you know, making videos, because that's what it's all about, guys. Having a great time, staying happy, and, uh, you know, enjoying what you do. Lewis the Gamer TV says, who inspired you to do YouTube? Well, there's actually a lot of people, such as Casey Neistat, Roman Atwood, which is a massive, like, you know, thing in my life, because he, his, like, model is, like, a uh, smile more, and mine's kind of staying happy, which is pretty much the same thing, and, uh, yeah, so definitely those two guys have a big impact on my YouTube career. I would definitely say way back when, when the Call of Duty like thing was around, there was a lot of like the phase guys, optic people, and stuff like that, who really, you know, kind of made me want to start a YouTube channel. So to answer your question, Lewis the Gamer, I would definitely say Casey Neistat, the phase guys, Roman Atwood, and a few other people like that. So that's that kind of answer your question right there. Equalize over on Twitter says, how do you keep growing so fast, lol, and what are you going to do for your 50k subs? Well, to answer your question, Equalize, I have no idea, like I said before, I'm just I don't know. Like, I just must be a lucky person, honestly, guys. Like, I put my freaking entire soul in my videos, and I definitely think it's gonna pay off, guys. Like, I, like, skip events for, like, family events and whatnot. I don't go places. I literally just sit here and make videos on a daily basis, whether you guys see it every day or every other day. Like, if I'm not, like, you know, making a video, I'm looking for a next video to actually make. And I'm not, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually know about that. But
flips with his GoPro, all kinds of crazy spins and stuff like that. You know, the basic park hour stuff. So he says over on Twitter, shout out Stash, and what upcoming game are you most excited about? Well, to be honest with you guys, I'm not really sure about the second question, but for the first question, definitely go check out Stash down in the description down below. For you guys that actually don't know this, basically me and Nick made a channel together essentially, it is called Stash. You know, kind of Josh and Steve kind of put together to create Stash. And essentially, we post all kinds of gaming videos with face cams and whatnot, and a variety of different content. So definitely go check out the description down below, guys. Me and him will be posting a crap ton of views on that channel very, very soon. Alrighty, guys, so my camera just died, so I think I'll end it right there. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support on Twitter for my brother, my QA, my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, guys. My family appreciates it, and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your life, guys. It's a brand new year, it's 2016. Go out there for yourself, do what you guys want to do. It's a brand new year, it's a brand new you. And, uh, you know, have a great time with what you're doing. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm getting teary-eyed right now. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support from my brother and myself, my YouTube channel, and everything you guys have done for me so far. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.